show you how to scrape a cellar using Pricematic. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to eBay and find a seller who sells products from either Amazon or Walmart. I found this seller by just looking up a UPC of a product that I sell. But you can basically go onto Amazon, find any product, copy and paste the title into an eBay search, and you will find the product that you're looking for. Because most likely it's already for sale on eBay by a dropshipper doing the same thing that you will be doing using Pricematic. So we're going to copy this April underscore e store username into Pricematic. So I'm just going to do that now. And we will paste it into the seller user ID field under the listing scraper and scrape a seller tab. And then you can either choose to do active listings or sold listings. And you can choose either eBay.com, which is US, or eBay.co.uk, which is the UK. <coughs> and that can be sourced from, you would only do this if you were looking for Amazon.co.uk listings, but we're dealing with Amazon.com, so we'll stick with this. And then you can select up to 1,000 listings. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to do 100 listings. And then, so we can see that the products that they sell are all generic pictures. So that's how you kind of know that they sell on Amazon, or sorry, from Amazon. And so then what, we're going to start this scan. And you will see it will pull up their listings. We're just doing 100, so it'll pull up their 100 listings a hundred of their active listings because I chose active rather than sold and so we're currently at one of a hundred but so now we're at seven of a hundred but only four showed up so what that means is three of the listings that we scanned were not sold by either amazon.com or walmart.com and that's why it didn't pull it up and so now you can see we're pulling up listings if you click the top one, the one that is in blue, then it will take you to the sellers page, the eBay sellers page that you're scraping from. And if you click the bottom one, the amazon.com link that's in green, that will take you to the amazon.com listing where you can find the product that you'll be sourcing when the product sells if you do decide to list any of these. And the nice thing with this is they have a select all feature where you can select all the sold listings or select all the profitable listings after you have scraped the seller for their 100 listings or however many you select. And then the nice thing also another nice thing with this is you don't have to stay on the screen like you can do a thousand like scan a thousand listings and turn your computer off or close your laptop and come back to it later on. You can also ask them to send you an email when it's complete. So that way you could be scanning all day long without... So basically you do a thousand, get, as soon as you get the email, go back, scan another seller, then go doing to what else, whatever else you were doing. And so you can scan a lot of listings really quickly. And then if you just click select all, then it would select all these listings and then you would go add to bulk list and then you go to eBay Lister, and then you would go to bulk listing, and then you can post you can post all the products that you've selected onto eBay. And it usually does about 50 products every five to six minutes. So if you had say 600 listings, you should be able to do it within, for sure within two hours, but probably closer to an hour, just over an hour. So you can see that you can list a lot of products really quick and that's why this feature is so helpful because you don't have to go and do each product individually. You can select from other sellers and the nice thing is you can beat that seller's price. So if you want to beat that seller's price by one cent, then as soon as you list, it will automatically beat that seller by one cent or whatever you select in your settings. And that's an awesome thing because you can you could copy, say a seller, say you scraped a thousand listings from a seller, then you can basically take over all those listings because you'll be the lowest price as long as that seller was the lowest price prior to that. 
So if that seller, say that seller was the second lowest price and they were $10 above the lowest price, then you're just going to be $9.99 above the lowest price. So you're still not going to most likely sell that product. And that's why when using this program, it's really important to go through your active listings and make sure that stuff is actually getting watches, actually getting views. And if, you, if it's not, then you need to, it's called recycle your listing. So basically you delete them and then you uh, put new listings in. And that's why Pricematic is awesome because you're not spending a whole lot of time on listing each product like you would be if you were doing it manually. And that way you can, you can list a lot more and be a lot more efficient and make sure that the products that you have listed are actually selling so that you're not wasting your listings. And another thing that I've mentioned in other videos is that everyone who's looking to do this should sign up for an anchor store. I know it's $300 a month, but that gives you 10,000 free fixed price listings per month. So if you were paying for those individually and you didn't have an anchor store, it would cost you significantly more. And that's why this is awesome to do it this way. So now we're done the 100 li listing scrape. So you can see it did it fairly quick. And these are the products that it scraped. So what I like to do is I like to scroll down and always make sure that it's a positive profit. So if it's a positive profit, it will always be green. If it's a negative profit, it will be show a negative sign and it will be in red. So let's see. So there's, there's a negative one there. So you can see we would not want to list that one because the after all the fees and stuff, it would cost us $9.59 more to get this product to the customer from Amazon than what the eBay selling price would be. So you don't want to ever list products that are negative profit. And the nice thing with Pricematic is it let, lets you put in exactly what your fees would be. So if you're a top rated seller, you can indicate that 10% discount so that it will uh, put that into your profit and make sure that you, if you do have that 10% discount, then that could change a profit uh, product from being profitable to not profitable or vice versa. And so on something like this, that there's no profit or nothing shown. So I'm guessing that this product is not available on amazon.com anymore. So I would not list that one either. And so just going through, we can see that most of the products are getting views because it's the view column right here. And I like to look at the time sold because if they've had this product listed and it's not selling for them, it's most likely not going to sell for us. So I'm going to go select all and then select sold listings. So that pulls up 14. And then once you've pulled up those 14 listings out of the 100 that we scraped, you want to scroll down and they'll all be highlighted in blue and you want to make sure that they're still a profitable product so make sure that they're not red so that green green that one's good yep so far it looks good so this one's not highlighted so it's fine and yeah so all 14 that we scraped from the seller that have that they've actually sold so like this one, it sold eight of, so at a $4 profit each, so that's $32 right there. Uh, this one sold two, so that's $20 right there, and that's just from scraping 100 products. So then what you do is, you, at the top here, I know you guys can't see it, but it says add 14 to bulk list. So that's when you're gonna add it to the bulk list, and then you go back to the eBay lister and bulk listing, and then you can list all 14 of those, or you can continue to source more, and then, bulk list those other ones that you've created also into all one big bulk list and yeah so you can see that you can source products really quickly by using this method and the scrape a seller feature is an awesome feature on Pricematic. I'm going to put a link for a 14 day free trial which includes the repricing in the description below. So if you sign up using that link, then you will get a 14 day free trial that includes the repricing. And then after that, the cost is, I believe a hundred dollars a month for around a thousand listings. And then it goes up from there as you have more and more listings. I think I'm paying about $330 a month for 12,000 
or 13,000 listings. So it's pretty reasonably priced in comparison to the their competitors. I've looked at a few and with the amount of listings that I have, it would have been over $1,000 a month. So I definitely recommend Pricematic and I use Pricematic every single day. So I only really recommend products that I actually believe in and use. And that's why I'm recommending this product to you guys and showing you how it works because it's really helpful in growing your business. And then the other nice thing is you don't need any upfront inventory or upfront investment just as long as you have a active eBay account. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more videos on how to earn money online. And yeah, thanks for watching.